If you guys didn't watch the last video, I think you should. Kevin Jude and I just picked up a 2020 Supra. I wasn't able to sleep last night. I'm just way too excited to start modifying this car. Like she's so excited to go. Last night we picked up this car from the dealership and we were so excited that we kind of forgot the paperwork. So I'm gonna head to the dealership right now, pick that up and we can get started with today's video. so nice to have a backup camera. This car will forever be in sport mode. We are never driving this car in the basic, comfortable mode. She's already made herself at home. So check this out, this car has like an in-lane assist. Once it reads the lines, I'm gonna let go of the steering wheel and it's gonna turn itself. Look, I'm not even holding it. It just turned back into the lane, what? Dude, technology is crazy. The only reason I knew about that was because I stayed up all night last night just watching videos on how this car works. In today's video, I'm actually gonna be going through and showing you guys some of the features and also learning myself. The interior on this car is so nice. We are back at the dealership. We got the paperwork. Now we can head back and, of course, get started with today's video. Oh, oh, I lost the camera. Oh my god. Oops. So I told myself I was never gonna buy an automatic car. Well, I guess you guys can call me a hypocrite. I never thought I was actually gonna even like an automatic car. This car is amazing, oh my god. It's kind of nice to be able to just drive around and hold my dog and not worry about shifting. But if I wanted to shift, we just put it in sport mode like this and we can have a little bit of fun. How's the drive this morning? Amazing. Why car like my car, huh? Jeez, Good morning, up, fellas. Honey? Damn, so this is the Crash Supra you ordered, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> it's no Crash Supra like we planned, but you know what? This is way better. This is literally my second time driving the car. We haven't even laid out the new trunk mats yet. The goodies. I said that I was never gonna buy an automatic car, and I absolutely hate them. Mm -hmm. I love this car so much. Dude, the fucking transmissions in these cars are like, You'll never be able to shift that fast. But, guys, I do like the automatic transmission, but I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. A lot of you guys are gonna hate me for it, but I know a lot of you guys are gonna love me for it. We're gonna manual swap this thing. You know, we get, we get to enjoy the automatic transmission for a little while, but someone has already manual swapped this and it's pretty sick. They have? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm not even kidding. I was oh. up all night watching their videos. <laughs> we'll, we'll enjoy the automatic transmission for a little bit longer. But today, let's just go through and show you guys, you know, some of the features of this car. I didn't mention it at all, but this is the premium model 2020 Supra. I thought this was like lended from someone, like, you know, like Dustin or someone's like, here, you know, try it out for a few days. Let me know how you think, just do a review. But I was talking to Tony, 
I was like, how'd he get this car, you know? Next thing I told him, he's like, yeah, you know, he bought it. He's <laughs> like, he bought it, he owns this car. I'm like, you own this car, what the fuck? And then just... Let me actually go through, look at everything, look at all the owner's manuals, you know, lay the carpet down, and just make this car feel like our own real quick. The brand new carpet is still right here. Front license plate bracket, definitely not putting that on. And I don't even know what's in here. I was gonna do it myself, but you know what? I'm pretty sure anybody watching this is probably pretty interested in the Toyota Supra as well. Let's lay out the... Damn, what the? This thing is hard as a rock. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna roll out. Dude, look, it just wants to go... <laughs> <laughs> oh. What the? <laughs> what? What are you doing? We're gonna reverse the effects. We folded it the other way. <laughs> Ready? One, two. Oh, there we go. That oh, it looks, worked. Looks pretty solid ish. No Alright. We're good to go. Once the sun hits it, hopefully it'll maintain its shape. Cool. And then we got a little first aid kit, of course. Stick that to the side. Emergency assistance kit. Let's see what's in it. Some people probably don't care for this part, you guys can skip it. When you own a new car. Amy, shut up, I'm vlogging. <laughs> oh! Jumper, Jumper cables, clutch. Nice, dude, that's actually pretty sick. A flashlight, little straps, a survival wrap. We got a bungee cord, we've got some gloves, we got ponchos, and a microfiber towel, and some electrical tape. Thanks, Toyota or BMW. Well, that's pretty much it for the trunk. And it has this little cover, so... Nobody knows. So, no one can see inside yep. of your trunk. Wait, but Tony, you always see my trunk. <laughs> Dude, look how happy she is. <laughs> I'm supposed to be working on the E30 right now and getting this thing painted, but I have a new toy and I'm just way too excited to get down and dirty. I already kind of have an idea on how this is going to open, but this car is a BMW and it has nothing Toyota. I don't know why there's Toyota badges and I don't know why it's called a Supra, but I bet you anything to open this. Yep. I told you, this car is 100% a BMW. It just happens to have Toyota badges all over and it happens to kind of look like a very exotic FRS. Can you guys see it? Because I definitely see it. So another cool thing that you get from a premium model though, I believe are these carbon fiber mirrors. Correct me if I'm wrong, I really didn't care if I got the base model or the premium. They just happen to have the premium and they gave me an amazing deal. I can't tell you guys of course, but that's also another reason why we got the Supra. The car is completely stock, obviously. I don't know how long, but I think my favorite thing on this car is this. I love the duckbill style trunk. Honestly, I love everything about this car. It's a sick ass car. Yeah. Like down to the entire body line. Guys, we got a super. Oh when you put it in sport mode, it opens this exhaust. Oh really? Oh, I see it. The whole system right there. Oh, do you, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's closed right now. But once we go over here, see, it's completely open. What? That's sick. That's bad ass. The technology in the new cars, amazing. Oh, oh there we go. Sport mode. All right, let me take you guys inside the Supra once again. Oh, I did a little bit of research and the premium Supra is actually different from the base model in a few different ways. So right off the bat, the premium gets a larger touchscreen. It comes standard with navigation, Apple CarPlay, a color heads up display on the dash right in that area. There's wireless phone charging here and heated leather seats. I didn't know that and I didn't care for it, but because it came with the package, I'm actually even more hyped that I got the premium. 
Okay, let's play a little game. I'm gonna need you guys to go down and comment what you guys see in here that was made by or encouraged by Toyota. If you guys have any ideas, please let me know because from the looks of it, it looks like BMW created and designed the whole interior. There's so much that we can talk about the interior, but I don't want to bore you guys. I just wanted to talk about, you know, some of the features that I thought were really cool. Aside from the interior being all BMW, I did a little bit of research and I did find out though that the car was designed by the Japanese. So I think that's probably where the Toyota and Supra falls into this whole car. Other than that though, the entire car is a BMW. I'm still learning as I'm going to be honest, but this is the bumper, this is the hood, and this is the fender. So when we go and install our new wheels and we try to roll the fenders, we're actually not rolling the fenders, we're rolling the hood. Next up, let's pop the hood. So I guess you pull this twice. One, two. Ooh, that is so baller. Look how wide the hood is. All right, let's get into the motor. This is a three liter turbocharged inline six. It says this is producing anywhere from 335 horsepower all the way to 380 something. I don't know, you guys let me know down in the comments below. That's kind of a wide range to be honest. We're gonna be upgrading the turbos, so don't worry, we will be doing a power build on this car. This motor also makes 365 foot-pounds of torque. And, yep, as you guys can see, there's plastic everywhere. This isn't my usual Nissan, so it kind of throws me off a little bit. This is also all BMW down here as well, besides the Toyota badge. Yep, this is a BMW, and look, they squeezed in the little Toyota badge right there. Let's see how easy it is to close the hood. I didn't expect it to do that, but eh, can't complain. I'll update you guys as, you know, I learn more things. I'm pretty sure there's so many things that I didn't cover, but the car is completely stocked. And before this, I didn't know any of the features or anything on this car. So we got a new car and we got one last thing to do. We gotta make this car our own. Check it out guys. Super low key oil slick. Goodbye capital Toyota. There we go. The license plate is sold out. We carry a few just for the homies and of course new cars. But if you guys wanna check out the decals or the air fresheners, they're still available on the website. Well guys, that is a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys are excited to see what we have planned for the Supra. I just realized how crazy that sounded. We got a Supra. But if you guys are excited, go down, like, comment, subscribe. We're on the way to one million. I'll see you guys next time.